Good morning, Portersbury. So, today I am going to be doing some cooking with you. Um, we are going to have a go at making some porridge biscuits um, or Oaty biscuits, flapjack. It's all much the same. Um, it's a recipe that I originally picked up when I think I just had Evie and I was really into kind of looking into what food she was having and looking for new ideas. Um, and it was a baby led weaning recipe, so ideal for really little ones. Um, and um, over the years we've just adapted it and it's one of those recipes that um, I, I never wrote down so someone asked me for the um, measurements and ingredients um, and I couldn't I kind of I had a quick thought think about it and measure some of them out just have an idea but every time I've made them they've been slightly different we've added something different um, but it doesn't seem to matter too much if you add too much of one thing you just end up with either a softer kind of flapjack or you end up with more of a crispy crunchy biscuit but either way they usually are quite um yummy now at the moment i am alone in my kitchen um and that that does feel a little bit like cheating i'm so tempted to just start this without them but um that's that's not on is it that's not in the spirit of things are you ready for this kids are you ready facebook live Oh look, now you see this is the thing about these Facebook lives, you're now seeing, I've made the kitchen spotless and now I've just shown you my hallway with the shoes and the scooter and the hats and here they are. Because really I know that none of you watch my Facebook lives for my input, you're much more interested in these guys. So we're going to do our porridge biscuits yeah. and I've got to work out how to do all of this. Holding a phone, um, no that's not going to work because you can see the kitchen worked out. Let's put you there for a minute. Okay, guys, so no. what's the... Th yes. We had the think... marshmallows that we had the other day. You did have marshmallows the other day. Not that we ever eat things like marshmallows. Healthy eating all the way in this house. Yes. Look, can we not do that on camera? Oh, goodness. Right, so what's our first job when we make these biscuits? Don't know. Banana. Put banana in. Banana in a bowl. Okay, so you need to grab a couple of bananas and um, get ready to mash them up. So when we do any sort of cooking... Oh, I've just real, like, look at that background. Oh, it's kitchen spotless. Look. Ah. Real life. Okay, so whenever you're doing any kind of cooking, there are loads of um, learning opportunities. So you can choose how to do your cooking. You can talk about all the measurements, quantities. You can weigh things out, look at the numbers, count up, count down. Um, we need 100 grams of something. We've only got 90 in. What, what do we need to add to get to 100 grams? There's loads of real like maths learning. You've got your science, you've got the change of matter. Oh look, it's gone from solid to liquid. All these kind of lovely um, learning opportunities. It's also just a really nice opportunity to come together as a family and make something. Um, look at what we can do when we work together. We've each had a different role to play and we've worked together and look what we've made. It can also... Freddie needs a blanket. It's also just a great sensory experience. Um, and if you're up for it, and if, if you're willing, let them do it with their hands, get involved and just make a mess. And don't worry too much about the end result. But um, we're, gonna, we're gonna go somewhere in the middle of all of that. These guys aren't quite at a stage where we need to worry too much about the, the science or the maths. We're just going for the fun family activity of working together to make something. Yeah. Um, and definitely avoiding the sensory um, using our hands, but we'll see how things go. So, who is going to mash the banana? Me! Okay, let's find you a fork. You start with some mashing for me. Okay, so these guys have to sit on a blanket because we tend to do our baking sat on the floor rather than getting them up at the worktop or sometimes we've done it at the kitchen table. Um, and we have horribly cold floors, so... There we go, sitting on a blanket it is. Right, mash, mash, mash. Okay, so as we're doing this mashing, again, there's learning going on here because we're changing the state of the banana. I haven't got a space. You haven't got a space, here we go. Lovely space. Um, and also Evie is using um, fine motor and gross motor skills here. She's having to hold the fork, she's having to push, but she's using lots of big muscle groups to do the mashing. So lots of lovely learning going on there. Oh, you've got your watch as well. Oh, are you recording me? No. Am I on double camera it here? It didn't work. It didn't work. Oh, okay. I do. You're right there, Alf. It's just this 10 
belly. No, nobody wants to see your belly. Thank you very it's much. Ten, ten people. Belly. Ten people. I think that's our biggest group ever. Yeah. Okay, so mash, mash, mash. We want mashed bananas. Mash, 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 mash. Tell that for everyone. Oh, thanks. Okay. Um, so I did share with you um, the quantities that we would need for this, um, and uh, we will we will uh, we are using that sort of amount. But then I'm going into school after this, and I've got an SLT meeting, and sharing more secrets with you. Nathan could be quite greedy, and I think I'd better take some biscuits in. So I might make a bit. I might up my quantities that I suggested to you, but go with the number, go with the ingredients you've got, um, and it, it will work. Like I said, I tend to start off, and then we add a little bit more oats, and then we go, oh, we need a bit more honey, or we need a bit more of this or that. It's one of those, you've just got to go. How's it looking, Evie? Good. Should we let someone else have a turn? Yeah. Who else would like a turn? Me. Fred's got the fork, he's having a quick mash. Well done. Oh, look, I have a hummus. Here's Alfie. Oh. Alfie's really working on your grip, aren't you? Because you're starting school in September and having to really work on your pencil yeah. grips. This is a great oh. exercise for strengthening all those muscles in your hands and arms. Oh. Mummy, help. Oh. Right, what do we think, guys? Does that look mashed enough? No. No? Did you see a lumpy bit there? Yeah. So talk with the kids about what you're doing. Talk about the texture. And squish down the lumpy bits. Squish down the lumpy bits. And so guys, that's learning. We are doing so much here just with this simple activity of Mommy, mashing a banana. Guys, what do you think? Okay, Can so bananas mashed. I've got to find another place to put this. Whilst doing this. Just tell me what How do they do is. this on Saturday Kitchen Live? I suppose they've got several camera crew, haven't they? Can we can we pop that down? We're cooking. We're cooking. Come on. Yes. Right. So we're gonna add our oats now. Ready? So um, I have got my scales. And I should be measuring out 150 grams. I think that's what I told you guys to use. But I'm going to do it like this. Because this is how we do cooking, isn't it, guys? So that's for us. And then we're going to make some for Nathan. Should we make some for Mummy's boss? <gasps> right, can we take our hands out, please? Thank you. Thank you. They are washed and clean. Uh, right, next job. Banana win. That's it. Get it all in, all that banana goodness. Okay. No, Frederick. Frederick, hands out. Okay. Let's start mixing those in. Okay, so mix, mix, mix. Whilst you're doing that, I'm going to go and get a measuring jug, which is what I was leaning on here. Oh, what, my, what do I, what was mummy looking for? The margarine. Okay, so we're, um, we're just using flora buttery. Um, not sponsored, uh, but you could use butter and you could use coconut oil, um, anything to kind of pull it all together. Oh, I did put a lot of oats in there. I think I've just doubled the quantity there. Yeah, so, I think I did. Lots, um, lots, lots, and lots, please. Oh, can you hear my kettle whistling in the background as well? Whiz, 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 whiz. So, does that look like enough, guys? No. Nah. No, a little bit no. more, do you think? That is a lot now. Oh, gosh. Right, let's pop that in the microwave. What happens when it goes in the microwave? It goes all warm, soft and squishy. Wowzers! Warm and soft and squishy. Those were really good describing words. It does go warm and soft and squishy. Well done. It's not like I've prepped them or anything. I didn't. We haven't practiced this a lot. We make these a lot, don't we, guys? Yeah. Do we have them sort of for, we make them this sort of time of day, don't we? We have breakfast when you first get up, and then we tend to have a little brunchy snack, don't we? And this is our little brunchy snack. Little brunchy snack. Are you looking at yourself there, Fred? <laughs> Cracking. Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, man. Man alive. Send help. Send help. Is that Okay, so our butter is melting as we speak. Let's have a look. Oh, Evie! Oh, 
me. What's happened to it now? It's got warm, squishy and cuddly. Warm, squishy and cuddly. Cuddly. Can you hold that, Fred? That looks like eggs. It's hard it to does look a bit like when we mix up eggs. Okay, but right. Don't put your hands in with this. It's very hot. Oh. I mean, she's got it. You're going to be on a cookery show. So, mix, mix, mix. Let's have a look. How's it all coming together? Do we need some honey next? Do you think? Yeah. Again, I had to think about it, and I've given you some ideas of how much to use, but I tend to just do this. Oh. Ah. Okay. Yum. So, let's see how that's all coming together, shall this we? This is very sticky. Ah. Thank you. No! I have said no. We are not. We are not. What do I we say? Look at it now. You need to go on the thinking step. Like? <laughs> go on the thinking step. Evelyn Willow, stop. If you do it again. <laughs> You're going on the thinking step. Right. Alfred. Your bottom is on camera. Can you sit on it, please, rather than put it... Yeah, here we go. Fred's going to join in now. Brilliant. My, uh, my, my new career as a uh, children's, I don't know, activity host has uh, just gone. Right, so guys, this is what it's looking like. Very much like flapjack, but just no, without. It's very much like uh, poo poo. Yeah. Right. It's like poo poo. It's nothing <laughs> like poo poo. What are you on about? Okay, so this is the fun bit now. You get to decide what you like want to put. Baby. Right, enough. Thank you, enough. This is where you get to decide what you want to add to your flapjack biscuits. So, baby. in the past, we have baby. added frozen berries, um, they work really nicely. We have added um, grated carrot and raisins and made them into carrot cake um, biscuits. Right, off, thank you. One, two, three. Right. Um, and today we are going to add some seeds and chopped apricots. I did have a lovely mix once from um, Tesco's, which was all uh, mixed. Right. Can we start off? So I've chopped up some apricots. So we're going to chuck those in, guys. Chuck them in, chuck them in, chuck them in. Alfred, Freddie, can you help put the apricots in? What are you doing? <laughs> right, stop. Mix. Thank you. Mixing. We might put some chocolate eggs in top. So this is a great opportunity. This is a great opportunity for you to use up some Easter eggs. So um, broken, cracked up Easter eggs, um, like mini eggs, um, anything like that would go in really um, nicely. We've used um, chocolate drops before. Chocolate drops, white chocolate and raspberry um, was a real hit. Um, as I say, grated carrot with some raisins and cinnamon. I reckon some apple would go really nice. And then I'm just adding in some mixed milled seeds because... They're really good for you. Because... They're really good for you. Yeah. Yeah. I don't like them. I don't what like is it full of? This is mixed okay. milled flax, sunflower, pumpkin and chia seeds, which is meant to be full of omega-3, which is meant to be good for us, isn't it? So there we go. Certainly not doing any harm. Um, so, we're going to keep mixing. So, for you guys at home, I hope you've kept up with us in some way, um, or that you might have a go at this later. And I'd be really interested to hear what um, ingredients you add to yours, so that we might get some new ideas here as well. So, um, as I say, our, I think our... No! Yeah, I'll make that for you, I think our absolute favourite was um, white chocolate and raspberry. But... Um, for now, we've got um, apricot today, and then I will be, this is what they spotted earlier, adding some mini eggs on the top, so I will show you that little bit in a moment. Okay, so, are they all mixed? Is it all mixed? Are you happy with that? So this is the kind of um, mix and consistency that you're looking for, something like this. Right, thank you. 
Thank you, thank you, thank you. You three can now um, disappear. Where's Daddy? Go find Daddy. No, we're going to go find Daddy now. So this is the bit that I always do um, without them, which isn't quite in the spirit of things I know. But what I do is I get a um, cutter, which I think is meant for like biscuits, scones, um, and I get quite a big spoon, pop it in, and squish it down just to make it into a kind of biscuit shape. Look. But when I used to do these as baby led weaning, you would just take a great big dollop, put it on a plate and kind of flatten it out and pop it in the microwave um, just for a few, like 30 seconds. Um, and they would come out really nicely. But I tend to do all of this um, and... Where's daddy, guys? You're not gonna go upstairs. Can you go and find a book to read? So um, I spend my time doing this and then they usually go in the oven for 10 minutes but again I've definitely put them in the oven and forgotten about them and then they've come out much crunchier and crispier um, and I've definitely been really hungry and needed a snack and put them in for just not very long at all to say you could microwave them in very small quantities. Or uh, put them in, let's say, put them in the oven, 180 for about 10 minutes and they come out like um, flapjack. So it just depends how long you leave them for. Um, but I hope you guys have fun making some biscuits. In terms of how long they can then be kept, I mean, they just don't last long in our house. Um, and because of the mashed banana, I'm thinking they wouldn't keep for very long. Um, obviously, any that are left over pop in a... Um, airtight you know tupperware container and i i reckon refrigerate and then eat within 24 hours i don't think i'd keep them hanging around for long as i say just more because of the the banana i don't think there'd be that um we didn't um do the final mix that's what i'm doing as i'm dishing these up um so yeah i wouldn't keep them hanging around for long but they don't last for long um and if you want it when you serve them up um, I try and do it with a portion of fruit, so some slices of banana or whatever, we've already got banana in it, haven't you? So I would probably do raspberries, strawberries, but whatever they like, some apple maybe. Um, and if you can do that and then have a little bit of yogurt with it, it's like a, quite a well-rounded meal. Um, so it works really nice for a breakfast or quite a substantial snack. I don't know about your guys, but we are snacking non-stop because it's just something to kind of fill the time a little bit isn't it when you're at home so I'm not going to keep you hanging on whilst I do these because I realize I'm babbling now and you're probably getting quite bored but I need to get these finished so um you get to this kind of stage look and then they run off with the chocolate buttons oh I so thought they had then um so yeah we've got a mixture of different types of things so pop one of those in the top they think they're having the best treat ever and actually you're feeding them bananas and oats and all sorts of lovely things so for any of the kids at portersbury that are watching and have followed this yay i'm really excited well done and i can't wait to see your biscuits i hope they're super yummy and for any adults that are watching this um and will be trying it out later once you've seen the mayhem that's involved um well done for sticking with it. Um, and I'd love to see your creations later. So please share. And if I've forgotten any of the information as we've gone, um, do just pop up and ask a question and I'll keep checking on to see what um, else I can share with you. But yeah, just mix it all together. See what happens. Pop it in the oven, 180, about 10 minutes. Um, and hopefully you'll end up with some really nice porridgey, flapjacky biscuits. Enjoy. See you later. Bye.